budget planner for the iPhone iPod Touch. It's available now and it allows you to manage multiple budgets within one application. As you can see here, I have a personal profile and a business profile set up. It's really easy for me to select which one I want to edit. I just tap there. I can hit add and really simply add a new budget and then choose whether or not it is personal or business. Really easy there. I can also edit these profiles as well by going and setting up the name, email, the currency type, and even setting a password for that as well. All right, so let's go into the Daily App Show's budget and tap on the budget calendar here. So now we're viewing the budget calendar in month view. If there were items listed here, I could go ahead and hit search and do a search for any item that's in there, or I could hit plus and uh, add new items to the budget. So let's say I got some income this last Friday. Let's choose the category of income and the date of last Friday, which is the 19th, and hit OK. Let's say that I added $100 to the budget of the Daily App Show. I'll go ahead and hit Save. And I can refresh things to make it go a little bit quicker and see that we have $100 over there on the 19th, and, and we're in the green right now. So let's say that today there was a expense for the Daily App Show, an expense that would have to be probably categorized in miscellaneous. Let's say I had to buy some apps, about uh, $12 worth of apps. And uh, so we're in the miscellaneous category. We've got the date set. This is set as an expense. Let's go ahead and hit save and save this item to the budget calendar. So now we have a $12 expense that came out. You can see that we have $88 left and even in the little box here, even though it's hard to see uh, on the screen, it shows the $88 as well. So as we continue to add items to our budget, these transactions that have been removing uh, expense money or income, or if it's a reoccurring expense or income, we can also set that up as well. Under the income category, we have a category for income, and then under the expense category, of course, we have utilities, auto, miscellaneous, service, investment, lots of different categories with different items so that we can, of course, make sure we keep our expenses organized. So under reports, you can see that we have our report here. We can view it as a graph. We'd have to set a date, but we could view it as a graph, a spreadsheet, and then we can also es export that as well, send it to an email address right from the app. Under the summary, it gives us a summary we can change from day, week, or month, and then of course uh, scroll through as well. We can view all transactions, income, or expenses separately. And then here we have the calendar, uh, I mean the calculator, that we can go and enter in more items and then view them in the budget planner calendar as well. So let's take a look at my other profile, my personal profile. Under the budget here, we can see that I had $100 on the 19th and, um, and made a uh, $12 transaction here as well for lunch. Uh, so that's a different one under a lunch category. And so I can go and, of course, add more transactions as the week takes place or, of course, plan those out as well so that I don't overspend. So what I like about this app is that it takes out from your balance as you continue to use. So you can use this for anything, whether it be budgeting your entire budget for your household or even just as simple as your weekly or monthly Starbucks allotment, which sometimes requires budget planning all on its own. So definitely check out Budget Planner in the App Store today.